The Mick Donato Show starts now. Are we on the air? Yes, uh, we are on How do I know we're on the air? Because the, there's the sign. It's behind you. It's, when, when we're live, it like what, up. What sign? I don't see a sign, Danny. It's, I'm looking out there at the camera. I don't see a sign. Well, that's because it's behind you. I should be checking. How am I supposed to look at that sign? I don't know. All I right. didn't All right. Know Enough out of you. Okay. All right, folks. Uh, we're on the air. Um, welcome to the Mick Donato Show. I'm your host, Mick Donato. Uh, should be obvious. I'm the only one here on the camera. And uh, I'm glad you're here for the inaugural show. Uh, before we begin, I just want to make sure you know how to get a hold of me. I'm on the uh, the Twitter, at Mick Donato, and uh, on the Facebook. Uh, I, Danny, I think it's uh, it's something like Mick dot Donato Mick dot, dot Mick dot Donato 79. Dot. I don't know. There's uh, apparently a bunch of Mick Donatos on the, uh, the Facebook. So Nothing. look us up there, support us, and folks... Um, I need your help on the Twitter. Look, we're just getting started. I have two followers. Uh, one is my friend Mark, who I'll talk about in a second, He's and the other friend. is a guy I'm uh, not even sure he exists. So, uh, so Danny, we need to be on top of that. All right. Mark is my dad. Yeah, I know that. Um, so, a little about me, Mick Donato. Um, I'm from Fall River, Mass. Uh, that's where I grew up. Uh, I now live in an undisclosed location, so don't try to find me. But I do live in the great state of New England. I'm a carpenter, union guy, and uh, uh, got to be good friends uh, with this guy named Mark, who happens to be Danny's uh, dad, right, Danny? Yeah. Yeah, and uh, and also Andy, who is my uh, my cameraman. Uh, you won't see him. He's off camera. He doesn't He's like camera to be shy. On, yeah, he doesn't like to be on camera, but. Um, uh, but uh, Dan, he is 12 years old, and yeah. he's my producer. I sound like I'm... Yeah, enough out of you, all right? I, I got it. Okay. I got it. Uh, but Mark said, hey, uh, you know, Mick, uh, known you a long time. Um, you know, you have a lot of interesting take on things, and uh, you're pretty funny. So uh, we should do a podcast. I'm like, ah, how the hell am I going to do a podcast? He's like, I have this whole setup in my cellar. Um, I got my kids, uh, Danny and Andy, who can do all the, the stuff for you there. So uh, that's where we are. So uh, I will be talking to Mark a little bit later. And by the way, Mark, um, Danny, I think you'll agree. Yeah. He's a, a great guy. Huh? Yeah. Just, just my bright, dad is awesome. charming, witty, just a, just a great guy. Uh, he'll be calling in a little later in the show. But um, let's go ahead and... Uh, Get started. So, uh, again, I want to say thanks to my producer, Danny. Danny, say hi. Hi, I'm Dan. I yeah. am not Dan. Yeah, that's enough. He... It's not the, the Mick and Danny show. Yeah, it's the... It's, it's the Mick Donato hey, I show. I sound like I'm a... All right, enough fan. out of you. So, that's Danny. He does all the uh, the production, all the website stuff, all the, the logos that you see there. That, that's all Danny. So, uh, God that. bless him. Um, so, what's the show going to be about, folks? Uh, what are we talking about here? Well, um, a lot of stuff. Uh, we'll be talking about, I don't know, current events, uh, pop culture, you know, whatever pissed me off on the job site that day. Um, so uh, it's going to be fun. So buckle up. It's going to be an interesting ride. But I will have to say um, that I do have some inspirations uh, for this podcast. Let me try to move right off. Right off. There you go, Pats. Right. Wet the whistle there. Yeah. All right. <laughs> so, uh, <clears throat> who was I talking about? Um, you were talking oh, yeah. about. Uh, okay, enough out of you, Danny. I got it. I'll just stay quiet. I just got to turn this microphone off if I knew how. Um, Anthony Cumia. Anthony Cumia, longtime member of the Anthony and Opie show. Opie and Anthony, I don't remember. I used to listen to him when I would uh, take the train up to do uh, jobs up in the city. Uh, he uh, got fired. From the ONA show, uh, he was on Sirius XM uh, because of a a tweet, apparently. Uh, but he's got his own uh, network, Compound Media. He's on Twitter, Anthony Cumia. It's like X Y Z uh, A B. I don't know. Find him, but he's a great guy. Uh, another guy, uh, <clears throat> ironically, also used to be on Sirius XM. Uh, Nick DiPaolo, uh, who I actually saw. Up at Arlington, Mass., uh, a couple uh, weeks ago, uh, with his uh, 
is open up Andy Fiore. Great guy, but also got fired from Sirius XM. Guess what, Danny? For a tweet. Uh, yeah. Danny, I'm thinking uh, the, the Twitter is not so good. People getting fired for that. Maybe we should yeah. sell off the Twitter. I don't know. I yeah, mean, uh, I don't know. So, uh, but that's what's happening. Uh, the only reason I continue to subscribe to Sirius XM in my uh, my pickup truck is because of a show called The Bonfire. A uh, couple of guys, a big Jay Okerson, great comic, although, uh, to be honest, uh, never seen him. Uh, does a lot of crowd work, you know, just not my thing. Uh, but I did see Dan Soda down at the Comedy Connection in Providence uh, a couple months back. Danny, uh, bring up that photo on the monitor there of, of me with Dan Soda. Yep, yep, there it is. Yep. Hey, look at that, me and Dan Soda. Uh, a couple of buddies. Uh, he Dan. probably does. All right, take that down. That's Dan enough. Soda. Uh, that's enough. I have to worry about it. Uh, his opener, Justin Silva, was also there. But Yeah, I don't remember him. But... Uh, look, those are my influences. Uh, you're probably going to be hearing me uh, invoke them, as they say, as we go through this podcast, because I, I love them. Um, and another thing, just so you know something about me, um, <clears throat> I am a staunch supporter of emergency responders. Uh, that includes, Danny, um, police, law enforcement, fire, hazmat, uh, the military, and by the way, I include you, Coast Guard, in that, even though the Coast Guard is not technically part of the military, but um, it turns out, Danny, did you know that your your dad's dad, your papa, yeah. was in the Coast Guard? Um, yeah. And I... he, here's, here's the kicker. Uh, uh, Mark and his dad, they were in West Virginia. That's why I have, I have my proud West Virginia shirt. Uh, but, uh, Danny, can you bring up uh, uh, a picture on the monitor there? Yeah, West Virginia. Yeah. Um, by the way, folks, if you did not know this, uh, West Virginia is a state. Did you know that, Danny? Yeah, it's a state. I don't know but, who wouldn't know but that. But get this. It does not have a coast. Uh, you see the monitor there. Uh, there's no coast. Of course it's a state. So what, uh, what coast was he guarding? I have, I have no idea. I don't know. Maybe he was... Uh, in the uh, Ohio River, catching uh, illegals from Kentucky, smuggling Jack Daniels <laughs> over the border. All right, take, take it down if you have hey. I, I can't see the monitor. Uh, uh, but God bless him. Uh, Mark's dad ended up going up to Michigan, uh, where he guarded uh, the Great Lakes, which also <coughs> severely needed. Got it. So, uh, anyways, that's a little bit about me, a little bit about how I got here. Again, we'll talk to Mark later. But, uh, folks, the topic for the day, I thought we'd start off with something, uh, you know, very controversial. And, in my opinion, uh, cartoon violence. The topic which needs talking about. So, cartoon what do I mean by violence. that? So, uh, so, you know, when I was growing up, uh, I, I'm a kid of the 80s late 70s, uh, we would get up in, the, in on Saturday mornings. We would uh, go to the living room. There was one TV. Believe that, Danny? One TV in the house. Was it a... Uh, and was it like uh, we would... Box? Enough out of you. I'm talking. Okay. Again, not the Mick and Dan show. I'll talk to you if I need to. I'll just turn right the over there. or something. I'll turn you down. Anyways, well, what was I saying? Um, yeah, so we'd get up. Saturday mornings, uh, in your pajamas, uh, you'd go turn on the TV, you'd have a, a giant bowl of sugar-filled cereal, not this crap they, they get kids today, and you'd watch cartoons. And uh, let me ask you this, Danny. So you're yeah. 12. Uh, do you watch cartoons? I love cartoons. Yeah, so what's your favorite cartoon? Gravity Falls. It's actually yeah. over now. Okay, I, I, again, I don't ago. even know what you're talking about. Gravity Falls, never heard of it, don't care. Don't want nothing from it. When I was growing up, my favorite cartoon was the Looney Tunes. And in particular, uh, Bugs Bunny and the, uh, the Daffy Duck. That's what I watched. And uh, for my birthday, uh, I find it here. Do I have it? Yep. It's down here. My kids got me, put it over here, the Looney Tunes uh, Golden Edition. All the cartoons, all of them there. 
Um, and uh, I love it. But I noticed one thing. And Danny, can you put up on the monitor the close up uh, I sent you? I'm going to try to bring it up here if I can find it. Yeah, bring the, it up on the monitor. Right, on. There's the close up. All right. So what it says there, folks, is these cartoons, it's rated PG, parental guidance, general viewing, but some scenes may be unsuitable for young children. You get that, Danny? I got yeah, that. Yeah, bring that. I take that off there. Okay. That's fine. All right. You get that, folks? Where are we if cartoons can't be viewed by children? Um, but I got to thinking about it. And yeah, you know what? Uh, there's a lot of violence, and um, I think it needs to be addressed. Uh, so uh, I, I sent Danny a clip just to watch from uh, one of my favorite uh, cartoons. This is from the trilogy uh, with uh, Bugs and Daffy and the, uh, the Elma Fudd. Uh, I think this is Duck, Rabbit, Duck, I don't remember. But Danny, go ahead and play that clip and let's just uh, let's watch this and kind All of right. talk through it. Uh, so this is from the, uh, the cartoons there. Right, go ahead and play, play that clip. Do, do, Push the button. I'm, All right, yeah. so there's I'm, Bugs and Daffy. Duck season. Rabbit. Rabbit season. Duck season. All right, not bad of you. They're trying to get you. Right. Right. Uh, but he's fine. Look, he's fine. All right. Yeah. Now watch this here. So this is, uh, I, I will give you a, a, a hint, folks. It, but this is not going to turn out well. See, Bugs will get it. He just pulled out one of these there. And, <laughs> again, folks. Okay. Okay. Um, this time you start it. The what message here say? is that, yeah, I guess in this day and age, this what you say. Jesus, I'm sorry. Ah, all right, Dan. Go ahead. And, go ahead and turn that on. That's uh, we got it. Uh, we got it. But uh, seriously, folks. Uh, that's pretty violent, and um, that was pretty fun. you know I think that uh, realistically, uh, Daffy would not have just been turned upside down, but probably would have a pretty brutal and probably fatal uh, gunshot wound to the face. And uh, I think he would for that, uh, what, what's it? What what do you have there, Dan? I think he would die. Yeah. Well, what's that? What do you have there? You're bringing it up. Yeah. Yeah. You got the oh. Yeah. <laughs> that's just... God damn. Danny, he's got, he's got the coroner's report. Uh, <laughs> Daffy Duck. I don't know how he finds the time to do this book. There it is, the coroner's report. Uh, duck, comma Daffy. Uh, he's he is a foul. Yeah, <laughs> he's got a gunshot wound to the face. I love the bottom. Uh, for the investigation. Right. I'm with the Thomas. Danny, just, just yeah. take that off. All right, yeah. all right, all right. You gotta take that off. But that's my point. Even Danny, uh, who's 12 years old, has enough of a sense of humor to know that's just a cartoon. And, um, you know, that's the way it is. But here's what I'm saying, folks. Um, this violence um, in cartoons needs to end. And I'm gonna say this now, um, and I'm gonna urge Congress to take action we we need to ban 12 gauge shotguns yeah i said it that's what he used uh what, what danny do you have something else to give me yeah what's I, that i found another oh, what's, thing what's he got? danny what's <laughs> oh no <laughs> um <laughs> danny. i found uh, another article all right um so danny just handed me a news report uh, Danny, go ahead and bring that up on the monitor right, so the folks can right, see that. Right. Um, Let me just go with this. Uh, all right, there it is. Um, <laughs> Kentucky man charged with murder of area duck. So this is what Danny. <laughs> I love this kid. Um, ironically, I did not know uh, that Fox News existed in the mid 40s when this report was done, much less the internet, but uh, I digress. Uh, so let's see what this says there, Danny. Um, a Louisville resident was arrested late Saturday evening following a hunting expedition in his home. And there he is, Elma Fudd, 53, 
was charged with second degree murder. He's 53. After his neighbor, Daffy Duck, 41. I, I didn't 41? think Daffy would be that old. I, I didn't was, think Elmer would be Yeah, old. enough out of you. Again, uh, I'm reading the story there, Danny. Uh, where was I? Uh, the, 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 the Daffy Duck 41 was pronounced dead of a lethal gunshot wound at Kentucky One Health Jewish Hospital I told you at 5.45 p.m. Uh, officials say that FUD mortally wounded Mr. Duck with a 12-gauge shotgun blasted a face. Again, folks, that's what I'm saying. Go ahead and take that down, Danny. I, I right. need to talk through this. This is very important. We need to ban 12-gauge shotguns for hunting. Us, obviously, it is resulting in the deaths of too many <laughs> cartoon ducks. Um, I'll just read through this. You, you don't have to put it up there, Danny. Uh, right. Sources reported that initially Mr. Duck was merely disoriented. We saw that, right? He was His, his feet was, was upside, upside down. down. Yeah, and he was walking around. But it turns out, get this, uh, he succumbed to his injuries while en route to the hospital. <laughs> when questioned, Mr. Fudd, Unremorsefully, did you write this? No, I found it on Fox News. <laughs> Unremorsefully said, I quote, it was that squilly wabbit in he's next. Ha ha ha. I can't finish the story. Uh, folks, we'll post this on our Twitter and our Facebook. I, I gotta get through the rest. Uh, officials believe that FUD was referring to Bugs Bunny, 43. Again, didn't know he was that old. Yeah. Uh, also from Louisville, uh, Mr. Bunny was taken into protective custody. <laughs> How do you come up? I didn't come up with it. I protective custody was... while Mr. FUD awaits his arraignment at the Jefferson County. Yeah, that's all right. Uh, so, there you go. Uh, straight from Fox News uh, from the mid 40s. Uh, but again, folks, my point uh, <laughs> cartoon violence. <laughs> it's going, going way too far, and um, we need to put a <laughs> stop to it. All right, uh, so where are we, folks? Um, yeah, so uh, I think our first guest is ready to call into the show. I think he's on hold. Um, it's my friend Mark, who I mentioned earlier, who set me up it's my with this father. great. Um, studio in a cellar and uh danny is your dad on the line uh yep he's on hold all right let's uh let's patch him in all right mark are you there mark uh, mark hey ah oh, there he is oh, okay sorry mick i was on mute i'm at the airport and it's uh, kind of loud hey no problem mark um listen i'm sorry you couldn't be here in the studio but uh but where are you exactly i'm in los angeles heading to australia for a couple weeks Wow, Australia. Now, how long of a flight is that? It's about 14 hours from here, but it's not my first trip to Sydney. God love you, Mark. Uh, I mean, the furthest I ever traveled was to, to Hartford, and uh, that's when the Whalers were still playing. But uh, anyways, Mark, thanks so much for setting me up with this uh, this fancy studio. This, uh, this place is great. Sure thing. I just wanted to call in and see how... Uh, Mark, let me ask you this. Uh, I'm just curious. What time is it there? Well, it's 6 p.m. Now, wait a minute. So, it's earlier where you are. Now, what are you, in the past? Not exactly. That's just how time zones work. And when I land in Sydney, it'll already be tomorrow, oh, so... So, let me get this straight. Um, you're going from the past to the future. Uh, what are you, time traveling? No, again, it's just how... I, I Listen, I don't want to hear any more. You're freaking me out. I had enough of that. Um, sorry about that. So how's Dan working out? Oh yeah, Danny? Oh no, Danny's awesome. Um, I don't know how he does all this stuff, to be honest with you. Dan, you having fun working with Uncle Mick? He keeps calling me Danny, but he, he knows that I go by Dan. I know, I know. He means well, but once he gets some... Alright guys, that's enough. Uh, that's enough out of you. Uh, so listen, Mark, safe travels to the future, and uh, thanks again for setting all this up. Uh, it's going to be a lot of fun. No problem, Nick. Oh, and one more thing. Yeah, what's that, my friend? Stay away from my wife. Look, Mark, uh, we, we've talked about this. Um, I mean, look, your wife is smoking hot, but to be honest, I, I, I don't really think she likes me that much. She doesn't? Well, maybe I will have to get her on the show, and we can talk it out. Good luck with that. All right, Mark, take care. Uh, Danny, hang up on your dad.
Bye bye. 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 Yeah. Love you, Dad. Um, and uh, so glad he set us up. Um, folks, I think that's about enough uh, for the first show. Um, again, uh, hook us up on uh, the Twitter there. It's uh, at Mick Donato on the Twitter. On the Facebook, it's, uh, it's Mick Donato. I think it's 79 or something. And uh, we're working on a website. And uh, Danny, how's the website going? You got that it's ready yet? It's going great. All right. So pretty soon we'll have a website there. And... Look, uh, give us feedback. Let us know what you think, um, how you like the show, and we're going to try to get these out to you on a regular basis. So uh, I think that's it. Um, Dan, uh, any uh, last things to say? Um, you got two seconds. Uh, I, All right, I, enough out of you. Uh, that's the show, folks. Take care. We'll see you next time. This has been the Mick Donato Show.